right up. We're gonna have you stand right around here. And the honor of service is printed in your worship books. God, who is rich in mercy and love, gives us a new birth into a living hope through the sacrament of holy baptism. By water, water that came right out of the tap. By water and the word, God delivers us from sin and death and raises us to a new life in Jesus Christ. We are united with all the baptized in the one body of Christ, anointed with the gift of the Holy Spirit, and join in God's mission for the life of the world. Called by the Holy Spirit, trusting in the grace and love of God, do you, the parents of Ada, desire to have her baptized into Christ today? If so, say, I do. I do. As you bring Ada to receive the gift of baptism, you are entrusted with responsibilities. You can come up. To live and to live with her among God's faithful people, to bring her to hear the word of God and to share the Holy Supper, to teach her the Lord's Prayer, the Creed, and the Ten Commandments, to nurture her in faith and prayer so that she may learn to trust God, proclaim Christ through word and deed, care for others in the world God made, and work for justice and peace. Do you, Ada's parents and sponsors, promise to help her grow in the Christian faith and life? If so, answer, I do. I do. Sponsors, do you promise to nurture Ada in the Christian faith as you are empowered by God's Spirit and to help her live in the covenant of baptism and in communion with the church? If so, answer, I do. I do. People of God who have gathered on this lawn, do you promise to support Ada and pray for her in her new life in Christ? If so, together answer, we do. We do. Good job. Now I ask you to profess your faith in Christ. Jesus rejects sin and confess the faith of the church. Do you, parents and sponsors, renounce the devil and all the forces that defy God? If so, answer, I renounce them. I renounce them. Do you renounce the powers of this world that rebel against God? If so, answer, I renounce them. I renounce them. Do you renounce the ways of sin that draw you from God? If so, answer, I renounce them. I renounce them. Congregation, you are invited to join in the cradle responses. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven, and he is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, and the United States, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. If you would bring Ada right over here and just tip her. <laughs> Ada Jane Butchumowitz, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> the mother used to be the church treasurer, and so Ada's feeling bad because giving's been down a little bit. <laughs> Let us pray. We give you thanks, O oh God, that through water and the Holy Spirit, you give your daughters and sons new birth, Cleanse them from sin and raise them to eternal life. Sustain Ada with the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. Amen. Ada, child of God, you have been sealed by the Holy Spirit 
A mark with the cross of Christ forever. Amen. <laughs> Actually, that's what Amy used to sound at council meetings. <laughs> Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. We also present you this morning with the gift of this faith chest, lovingly made by the members of Lakeview. For we believe that faith is caught, not taught, and hope that this chest will be a lifelong reminder of God's love for you and for Ada. Thank <laughs> you. 